Good afternoon. Just checking in with a couple of thoughts today. Uh, the first thought is I just would like to start with a, a word of gratitude. Today, I am grateful for this beautiful weather, for being able to be outside in the fresh air and sunshine, um, hearing the birds chirp and neighborhood kids playing outside. Um, I'm really grateful for that. It helps me to kind of ground myself and get ready, um, gearing up for the week ahead, as I know it's going to be a busy one. Um, I spent a good part of my afternoon yesterday having conversations with voters and neighbors and folks in the district, which was great. Um, a theme of those conversations was information and where to find accurate, reliable information. You will see on my webpage, we've updated it with a, a section for COVID-19 resources, as I think part of leadership is communicating accurate, reliable information, and I want people to have um, the information they need um, in these difficult times. And so one of the resources on that page that uh, we'll point you to um, is the dashboard put out by the governor yesterday. And if you haven't taken a look at that, I would encourage you to do so. It has really great information about uh, Minnesota's response to COVID-19 and our um, resources and capacity and, and what this our state is doing. I really appreciate the transparency of the governor with that. Uh, as a nurse, I um, appreciate data and um, believe that we should make decisions based on evidence. And so uh, related to that, I hope a piece of data that we are collecting, and we're seeing this uh, nationally come across, is uh, racial disparities with COVID-19. We know that there are racial disparities in our healthcare system um, that were there pre-COVID-19. And to think that that is gonna go away when our healthcare system is being taxed um, with this crisis right now is unrealistic. And so we are seeing that play out with COVID-19 that uh, it is disproportionately affecting our black and brown communities. And so um, that is not acceptable. Um, we know that uh, anytime a, a patient, a, a person, a family member, a mom, dad, brother, or sister, someone loses their life to COVID-19, that is a tragedy. For someone to lose their life to COVID-19 because of the color of their skin is a tragedy and wholly unacceptable. And so I am committed to doing the work to improve that. Um, there is work to be done with that in our state, um, as well as across the country, but also here in Minnesota. So as a nurse, um, healthcare is, some, is what I do every day. Um, and so I am committed to improve that for all of Minnesotans. We are all in this together. We will get through this, um, all of us together. Have a great day.